this show is something I have never seen before, something different. What brought you to the roles after reading the scripts? It was incredibly exciting to read. It was something that excites you when you're just reading on your own and you're turning pages and you're yelping and you're saying, oh my, well, you know, it's time to go to work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And for you, what was it? It was the same. The story really jumped off the page and I was immediately immersed in it. I forgot where I was and then this, the pilot ended on page 62 and I was like, oh. Oh, I'm in my room, you know, like I was so immersed in the story from the get-go and I also was very very excited about the role um, It's very Bolion is very unique and I've never seen a character like her anywhere um, So that's what, what hooked me and the costuming is so so well done because it's, it's a future show mm -hmm. But it takes a lot of things from the past mm hmm when you saw the costume, because sometimes when you hear future, you're like mm -hmm, yeah. leotards, <laughs> tight clothing. What was it about? <laughs> I know unitards. That's yeah. you know that's Satan. Is a <laughs> unitard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Trish Somerville is our brilliant costume designer, mm -hmm. and and the the premise is because of what uh, what Stephen Knight set out as they built the world. Mm -hmm. It could own the things could only be built or made within the context of that new world. So we could only wear what we could grow and weave or hunt. Mm -hmm. So she took off from there. Awesome. Yeah. And this is what I love about it. Since Apple's coming into the forefront, they're a tech company, but this is a, such a futuristic, it looks great. When you finally got to see the finished product, what was your thoughts on it? I've seen the first three, that's all I've seen. And I, 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 I'm, an, I'm an average American viewer, so I received it the way I think people are still going, holy guacamole, or no, or oh yeah. So I think there'll be a lot of talk back, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know, like, what do you call it? Um, and this like I, I've never seen a sci-fi thing like this you know when you think of sci-fi there is that assumption that it's like super technology and future and space and cadets and um, and this is so unique because it's that return to the land and this healing of the relationship between humans and the earth and I think that that is something that we really need to see right now mm -hmm. and final question what can you tell the movie news audience that are Apple fans and read us on Apple News to get out and watch this show on November 1st? Well, first of all, everybody on the planet is going to be talking about it. <laughs> yeah. So you better watch it right out the gate because they will spoil it for you. Mm -hmm. But it's a happening. It is a, you know how, you know, people try to hate, but that's just because Apple is so excellent. You know <laughs> when that next device is coming out, it's like, I don't need it, I don't need it. And you see like, yeah, I can use that, I, you know. And so it is that same sensibility of bringing something that is so, that is curated with the consumer and with this, with the viewer in mind. So. It gives all respect to the fact that you're going to spend your time to watch that. It will deliver. Yeah. It's, you know, we, we drop the first three on the 1st of November mm -hmm. and then each Friday after that till we do the eight. Mm -hmm. And then you can just like wild out and have parties and watch it. Yeah. Uh, what I love about it is that it will be accessible to the community that it is representing. That uh, blind and low vision people can experience the show. Um, through the audio um, and through the closed captioning and that it will be accessible in so many different languages. Um, that's what I really love about Apple is that it's such a global company and that it will be um, so many different people can experience the show and that's what we want because it's such a beautiful, beautiful story by such creative, creative people. And I'm not doing a commercial but it's only four ninety nine. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like you know, you know, just don't have any some of your fancy coffee for a couple of couple of days, and you know, you got your subscription paid. It is. Um, I'm excited for everybody to receive it because the reason we tell stories is for 
our viewers, it's for our audience, and it's a great gift. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. Sure. Thank you.